this particular incident really is unprecedented. Almost 2,000 people were arrested. Of course, they've all been released. But nevertheless, uh, we did see a number of violent incidences. Uh, not only were the police firing tear gas directly into the crowd in confined spaces, but they were also beating people on the ground or people as they were fleeing. And this is something everyone can see on YouTube. The Malaysian government has been cracking down on Berse, which of course means, means clean in, in Malaysia. It's the electoral reform movement for over two weeks now. In fact, there are already some 40 people in, uh, in prisons in, in, in Malaysia. So although all the people over the weekend have been released, we've got 40 people who've been in for two weeks in some cases. We believe that, that people around the world and in Malaysia should be able to protest peacefully. Uh, which is what they were doing last weekend. In fact, some of the people had been arrested for merely wearing a yellow t-shirt, which is the t-shirt of, of Berse, the electoral reform moment. And, and this is ab absolutely absurd. I'm a law student. I was sitting down. I show my IC. The next team, I'm, I'm up in the lorry. The uh, Prime Minister of Malaysia is coming to the UK this week, so we would ask the UK government to express concern about this violent crackdown of freedom of assembly. And also to say that this is really unacceptable. And I think we need to make the point that it's not just Western governments, but also fellow ASEAN members. Uh, all the members of ASEAN, including Indonesia, Philippines, and Thailand, should also express their concern about this violent crackdown over the weekend by the Malaysian authorities.